Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a car haul. I haven't done a car haul since... Well, you know, it's been a long time, so I thought I'd do a car haul today. Just went to the Dollar Tree. Just wanted to run in and check on the little, um, someone said the little stuffed animal bins is where the gnomes was, and that they, uh, they found them there, and the other day when I was in there, I saw those bins. I didn't see gnomes in general, so I didn't even think to look in there. So I'm like, I have got to go back and look through the bins just to make sure. And lo and behold, baby, I found the gnomes. So I'm super, super thrilled. Um, so I thought I'd do a car haul and just, just have a blast on this wonderful New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve and Happy New Year's to you guys. Uh, I'm going to start out with the gnomes because I don't want to make you wait. Not that you haven't seen them before, but yeah. So my friend Patty was going looking for the gnomes today too. And she told me that if she found them, she would pick up an extra set, one for me. And I told her the same thing. I said, I'm going to run in and look at the bins. If I find them, I'll pick up an extra set too. And so when I found them, I texted her and told her I found them, but I haven't heard back from her yet. If she finds them then I will put these gnomes, as a matter of fact, if she finds them, I will do a giveaway with these gnomes. Um, if, yeah, if she doesn't need them, I'll do a giveaway tomorrow with the gnomes, for the gnomes, for a set of the gnomes. If she doesn't find them, I'll send them to her. So either way, just, just I'll let you know. I'll let you know. So anyway, I want to show you these adorable little things. Look at them. They're definitely bigger than the ones that I had gotten. Hold on. I've got a hot flash going on here. Um, yeah, they're bigger than the ones I had gotten, and they do not disappoint. I have to say, they do not disappoint. They are pretty darned awesome, guys. Look at it. Look at it. And that little heart on the, the hat. So cute. This one is very, very Valentine's Day-ish. Okay, this is the most Valentine's Day-ish. The other ones are adorbs, but like here's this one. Oh, this is probably my favorite. I don't know, just the pink. I've always loved like pink and gray together. So this one right here is pretty darn awesome. Look at that. And then the other one is the little brown gnome with the red hat. They are all so cute. Now, I think there was only four. That's all I saw in the box. If there's more than four, guys, let me know. I'll be devastated, but let me know anyway. So, yeah, there's that one. And then, um, last but not least, this one here. This, was a, this one reminds me just of a traditional gnome. So, just a traditional, you know, the blue outfit with the red hat. This is what I would think a gnome would look like. I do like the silver heart on his hat. So, yeah, so cute. So, yeah, I found the gnomes. I'm so excited. I was so excited to see them. Oh, my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Look at all of them together. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so excited. So, I think that might be all that's in this bag here. Oh, no. Oh, I got my son some gum. I forgot. He, he was with me, and then I dropped him off somewhere before I came home. Um, I had to go mail the Sopranos book to the Sopranos book winner, um, and then I had to mail something else. Yeah, so anyway, anyway, uh, I grabbed him these. He loves these fruit stripe gums. He, like, will chew, like, the whole package, like, in five minutes. I don't even know, like, but I got him for him, so, yeah. I'm not going to tie these because I'm going to do pictures when I'm done. I'm going to put the pictures, which I usually do, put the pictures on my Instagram. So, my Instagram channel is Keto Twisted Gypsy. If you are not uh, following me on Instagram, go follow me so you can see, like, all the goodies that I find at the Dollar Tree. Usually, I will put only the best stuff, you know, not, not everything, just the most interesting stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so let me show you this Bora. I had to show you that first because... Like, I know you wanted to see it first, right? But I'm going to show you this Boro here. This is, this is one of the little rugs, and it says, Our Nest is Best. Let me tell you why I got it. Uh, I've been looking for the ones that you can put in your car, the this the solid black ones. I haven't saw any for so long. I'm like, 
you know, I have to have something. Winter is here, like all the snow and stuff. So I just got this one and I'm going to put it down in my floorboard right here. I have one over there, which is all wrinkled up and probably not even being used as good or properly. But you can almost see through this bad boy. So I don't know how good of a, of a protective that's going to be actually, but it'll protect some of the dirt, maybe not water. But anyway, uh, my nest is best and my nest is in my car apparently, right? Okay, I got one pack of the old Boro Scott just because, just because every time I go, I got to get, get at least one pack. And then I got one box of my favorite trash bags. It's the Good Sense Handles. You get 10 in here. Sometimes they have a value pack, which I haven't seen a value pack on these in a while. So next time I see a value pack, I'll probably get about th at least three to four boxes. But these smell so good, guys. They're very good trash bags, and we love them. So there's that. And then this is a pretty decent size haul, guys. It really is. Um, I did, let me go through this bag here. And then that Boro, and then that. Okay. I mean, not really, but first off, all right. I got two of these, and hold on. I'm going to keep one, and I'm going to put one in the giveaway that I have that's going to be coming up in um, February. So... I, I'm, I'm planning on doing a Valentine's Day giveaway, but around that time, <clears throat> I figure I will also be doing a uh, 9,000 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I got about 1,000 more to go, so yeah, a little bit less, but I'll be doing that very shortly, guys, so keep an eye out for that. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to have in it yet, but... I am going to be putting some cool things in there, um, but these, um, I just got one for me to keep, and I'm just going to put it in my pen thing, because I'm always needing pens. These are black ink, and just the color of them is really, really pretty. Can you see that? I absolutely love those, and it has this little um, gem, like a little purple heart gem. This would probably be good for the Valentine giveaway, just because of that purple heart little gem hanging from the top of the pen, so... And then I grabbed a pack of these. It's a hunt. You get a hundred disposable gloves. And in this day and age, you know, it's always good to have gloves around. Or if you're just chopping jalapeno peppers, you know, whatever. It's good to have gloves around. So I needed those. <laughs> I will probably put them in my kitchen drawer as well. And then I picked up these right here. These are latex gloves. You only get 10 in here. These are better if you're doing something that requires a, you know, um, more precise. Because those other ones are just so big and bulky and just kind of like they don't fit your fingers good. That it's hard to do like anything. If These would probably be my choice if I were cutting jalapeno peppers. Just because you have to take your fingers and de-seed them and all that fun stuff. So, well you really don't have to but that's just the way I do it. And then I was needing actually some pins to put in my pin jar. Because pins just disappear at my house. They do. So I grabbed this pack here. It's just a three pack from Ink. It says Ink Forma. Who knows? Who knows? It says Comfort Grip, Retractable. They're black ink. I wanted black ink. So I love the colors. Purple, pink, and like a zombie green or a lime green. It could be yellow. Nah, it's a lime green. Zombie green. One of my fave colors. Love it. That's what color I'd like to have my Jeep. Like my dream Jeep, if I ever get one, zombie green. Wouldn't that be awesome? Maybe one day, guys. Who knows? Maybe one day. Um, and then I found these, which I got from my husband. These are gel Gelosity, and it says smooth sticks, gel pens, writes smooth every time. And just look, I mean, I don't, I can't tell. Let me, let me get my glasses on. Because I couldn't tell in the store, but it looked like there was a print on them. And then I'm like, well, let me just, I mean, there's kind of like a fingerprint looking. I'll show you guys. Let me show you guys. You see that? Is it zooming in, guys? I don't know. Okay. So, yeah. 
I thought, I mean, yeah, he, he writes a lot on his job and stuff. So I think that he will like these. It says smooth and vibrant. They are black ink. And yeah, I'm not much on gel pens. Like, I just like a regular pen, you know, not gel. But these were a good deal, and, and they're Bix, so, yeah, grab those. For those of you who are new, I just want to say um, welcome and thank you for subscribing. And you're probably wondering, like, I, about why I said that I'm back with a car haul. Um, before I got COVID back in October, I used to do car hauls all the time. Like, that was my thing, like car hauls every time so then i started doing them from my bedroom um and then now i thought today was special it's new year's eve i found the gnomes and it just seemed like a special day to do a car haul so here we are okay what else did i find well they had something that i had never seen before now i don't know maybe i have seen them but i don't know they had four different colors and they're from jot and they say marker See, they say marker right there, but they also say silver with, wait, what's that say? Well, we're going we're gonna to test it. We're going to test it. It says something silver with colorful outline. So it says a silver with a colorful outline, and I wanted to see what that was all about because I like stuff like that. So I'm going to see this, what it does do. So I guess I'm guessing the colorful outline would be the pink, but we're going to see. Okay. So there's what it looks like. How could that be silver? Did I read it wrong? No. Silver ink with a colorful outline. I'm going to check this out. We are going to, let me just write a heart. Okay. I'm the very thoroughly... <laughs> Did you hear that sound? That squeaky nails on a chalkboard sound? I can't handle that sound. Here, let me get my little notebook out down here. This is nowhere near being silver, so I'm real confused. Um, got my, this used to be a Dollar Tree note. I mean, it is a Dollar Tree notebook, but like, they were cool back in the day. They were cool, and they're still cool. I love it. Don't you? Okay, anyway, I hope it doesn't make that noise. I hope it doesn't. Ooh, hold up. <gasps> OMG! <gasps> I do not know. Look at that. Wowzer! It is silver with a pink outline. <gasps> How cool is that? Let's test them all out. Do you want to? Let's test them all out. Next, I have silver with a colorful outline and this is a blue one we're going to see what this bad boy looks like as well my cat's over there he hears me talking he's like what's up man what's up in that car what's going on over there she's excited let me go see what's going on okay got it going let's draw a heart i like it it's like it happens like right before your eyes this one is not quite as prevalent as the pink one but it, you, you can i don't know this one looks more blue does it not or is it just me see this one looks a little different hold on let me show you guys have you guys ever seen these like okay the bottom one it did it did right look at it i guess you gotta keep the thing pressed in while you're drawing look at that how cool okay this one is gold and it might be it says silver it says silver with um yeah you get the the gist of it don't you you get the gist I don't know where my cat went he's probably sitting out here looking up at me might want to shake it up even i don't know i don't know okay how cool i mean i'm oh maybe you might not want to shake it up i don't know what just happened here Oh, hold up. Not good. This one's like eek. Hold on. This one's like leaking, guys. It's very liquidy. Can you see that? It's running down the page. Oh my gosh. It's trying to do its thing. I'm going to try to draw a heart over here. That's mainly a gold heart, as you can see, which is eek. I don't know what happened to this one. 
Maybe it's because I shook it up, you think? Let me let me try something. Oh. Okay, so if you mm, if you press it in like the other ones, it all just kind of leaks out. Like like I just now pressed it in. Do you see it? It's probably gonna start running down the page. Look at that! Okay. But I'm slinging it. Oh my gosh, I got a new shirt on. I don't want to get it on me. Let me lay that over there. But on the other hand, once it dries, look at it. Look what it did. What? That's cool though, right? But I don't know what that one's going to be. We got one more. This one's silver ink with a colorful outline, but the color of the thing is silver. What is that going to do? Like, look out. This might be incredible. Watch it. Ooh, okay. I have a little bit of news here. Um, you guys remember when we were collecting things for the homeless guy, I don't know, several of you have asked me about him. Um, my husband talked to him one day and the guy told him that he got an apartment. So he is no longer homeless and that is super good news. We were so thrilled to hear that. So, and I know you guys will be too, um, cause y'all have d definitely been asking me. So anyway, yeah, I had to give you that tidbit of info. Okay, let me see if I can get this one started. Eek, this one might be like the other. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Okay, this one's this one did right. Let me show you. Hold on. These are really cool. These are fun to play around with. This one's sort of like a silver one with a black outline. So look at those. Wow. That'd be really fun to like write in cards. What if you wrote a name? <gasps> Let's write a name real fast and then we'll go on. I promise. We'll move on. Let me just write a name really quick. <gasps> this goes through like a lot of sheets of paper, <laughs> that gold especially. Okay. Let me just write my name. And now I'm having way too much fun with these markers. No, let me write a word, a secret word. <gasps> So cute. I'm just so cute. Okay. Secret word. Boom, baby. Love. Love. Love is all you need. Okay. So, yeah. I've never seen those or I would have grabbed them. I'm sure of it. All right. Let me get this back in my little pocket down here for when I need to make an emergency list. I got my hair up. I was planning on doing my haul today, like on in my bedroom, and I actually have that hair tool out. I was going to show you what it looks like. The box we have already gotten rid of. A lot of you guys were asking the name of it. When I do my next video, though, I will totally show you the tool and tell you the name of the tool because it is life-changing. It really is. I'm absolutely loving it. Oh, okay, let, let me move on. I got this pack, four pack of mouse traps. Sometimes we get a little friend trying to move in with us, and yeah. So every now and then we have to buy these and catch a little friend, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but it, it, it's real life. Um, I'm getting a sharp pain. I'm getting a sharp pain. Nothing major, just a sharp pain. Um, I needed a pick. I've lost the one that I had, and like I use this pick, like a pick like this, all the time. And my pick disappeared, so I'm like, you know what? I need another pick, and here it is. Just like it looks just like the one I had, so except I just noticed mine didn't have a fist up there. Check that out! Check that fist out, that's cool. Like it, it says I will lift it up. Yes, baby, lift it up, baby. Okay, I saw one picture that really. I shouldn't look through pictures because I've got a ton, but oh gosh. look at that. Oh my gosh. How can I leave that laying there? I couldn't. Oh my gosh. One of the prettiest pictures I've ever seen there. I mean, they have had some phenomenal pictures, but there's just something about this that is country and just, I don't know. It's a beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. There's that. There's that. And then this is something that I, that they might have had these before. I had never noticed them or even cared. But now that we're starting to do more artsy things or crafty things, I thought I might as well grab these. I don't really know. I'm going to open them and see what they are. So it's Crafter Square 
I'm cold now. Hold on. Let me roll my window up. Whew. It's not cold. It's hot. Um, yeah. Oil pastels. Premium bright color assortment. And there's all the colors you get. So, like, when I was a kid, I used to have some pastels. So, I'm not sure, like, how these are going to be in there. But, yeah, I used to be, like, I used to love to draw. Like, I drew, I mean, I have a big old thing where I used to draw, like, a big old tote bag with tons and tons of pictures. Okay, so these look like regular pastels. So, I have no clue what I'm going to do with them. I may just let Jack have them to draw. But, I don't really see us using them in a craft. But, oh, I love pastels. Like, she'll have some fun with these. I'll make her feel like a true artist. So, yeah. Okay. There's those. Got these treat sacks. I just could not resist. These are adorbs. They're like little burlap sacks. And they got pink hearts or red hearts. So, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them. I may put one of each in the valentine giveaway i'm not sure but they are so cute are you guys in there are you guys in there today okay as long as you're there um so anyway i think ain't they cute can you kind of see the consistency of what they're made of yeah and they got a drawstring and i love that they have either a pink or a red drawstring <gasps> i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with those yet but I wanted to get them. Um, I know that me and my daughter is going to be making a wreath for Valentine's Day. So I grabbed two more of these. Now I know I have the small wreaths. And then we got the ball, the ones that's going to be ball shaped. Um, and then we got them ones that had the green Chanel stems already on them. But these are just the regular. These are the ones that we're used to working with. And we did not have any more of these in our stash. So I had to go ahead and grab these. Let's put those up there. Um, oh, I got this hair tie. Just for a ponytail. I think this is adorbs. So cute. It just says scrunchy. Yeah, and it's, I love the colors. Like, it has different colors. It, like, starts out with, like, a pink, light baby pink color. And it goes into, like, a gray and then a blue. I think it's really, really cute. So, I do ponytail days. My husband is texting the crap out of me. So, I'm going to have to pause this video. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I forgot what I was saying or even... What was I saying? I don't know. I guess it wasn't important, right? Um, I grabbed these. We are going to be doing the wreaths. So, I went ahead and I don't know if we'll need these or not. So, I got this one that is in red and it's picks. And one side of them says love. I love that. I love the love. And then you got three hearts on the end of that one. And then they also had a pink set like that. Love and the three hearts. So I thought that might we might want to put them on our wreaths. I don't know. But just in case, I grabbed them. So cute. I have a feeling I was talking about this ponytail holder. But I don't know. Who knows? Okay, and then I got just this six piece of pink hearts. Because I may put these in with the flowers. If you remember, I got the metal bucket the other day, and I'm planning on, you know, putting a few, and I'll have the flowers right here. Let me just show you. I picked out these flowers just to put down in there, so um, I just got two bunches of them because I don't want them to be, like, packed and overwhelmed. I just want it to be, like, a really light, airy type of centerpiece. I don't know. So, I went ahead and just grabbed two of these. I thought these were really, really cute. These are Baby Breath. And I just think they are so pretty. And then maybe some pink, some of these pink hearts sticking out of the top so people will know that they're a Valentine's Day thing. But they will also know that because the bucket is Valentine's Day-ish. So, I want, let's see here. Where that thing went? Where could that thing have possibly went? Was it in the side? Hold on, I might have missed something here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there's that. Put that up there. Put that up there. And, um, let's see. I grabbed this because it's cute. It's glittery. And it's just really cute. Look at it. It says love. And it, I know it's not coming across very good. But it's got like little, um, 
each piece is different and they have like a little different design looking this one looks um, am i imagining things okay first of all i don't know maybe okay they're glittery they're definitely glittery you see the glitter in them this one's got like dots i don't know they all have like dots i don't know that them dots might poke out i don't know i don't know i just don't know anyway yeah i just thought that was cute maybe for the bathroom mirror i love stuff on the bathroom mirror this it's just cute i just took down my christmas stuff off my bathroom mirror yesterday okay so i got two really cute candle holders they are the same and I thought on my Valentine bookshelf, these would be really, really cute with a little votive. And they had different colors of these. But I got the ones most reminded me of Valentine's Day. So, I'm going to show you. I shall show you. Here they are. They're kind of like a frosted glass. And they have like purple paint splatters in them, if you can see. You see those paint splatters? But they're also like glittery. So they're glittery, pink, frosted, and purple paint splatters. So they're really, really pretty. This one's got a lot of paint splatters. This one, not so much. So anyway, they're really pretty. They remind me of something from my childhood. I'm not sure what. So there's that. Okay. And... <coughs> Jack needed some crayons just to keep in her homework drawer. She's almost done with her first semester of online school. She hasn't been to school nine. Um, Fifi is her teacher. She comes over every day. And it was just her texting saying she's on the way with Jack. Okay, let me hurry and do this. Uh, this is 48 crayons. So... I'm just going to put that with her homework station because she does a lot of coloring and stuff like that. And right now she's using like some troll, puppy troll crayons and they are like not, like there's no like green or yellow. Um, I got these face, and this face, this is just one face mask. Oh no, it's two face masks. I'm just going to leave these in the car because sometimes we go somewhere and my son forgets his and then he can't go in anywhere. So yeah, I'm just going to put them right up there and now he does have no excuse. If he did that on, on purpose, I don't know. Um, I grabbed these. Look how cute. They are stickers, and they are like little felt. Yeah, felt stickers. There are 18 of them, and they are just all cupcakes, and they have different colors on the top. So, yeah. I thought they were really cute because there's like a jewel on the top of them that's supposed to be like a cherry. So cute. Love them. Love them. And then... I grabbed one pair of eyelashes. These are from Wet n Wild. I hadn't seen them. Um, so I grabbed that. They look like spider legs. Do they not? I don't have my lashes on today. But I did try a new color. I was trying to match my shirt there. So yeah, I tried a new color of eyeshadow. A lot of you ask what palette I use. Most of the time I use a Morphe palette. But I have a several different palettes like that I've got in Ipsy boxes and stuff like that. Over the years, Ipsy and that other one that I always got. I can't remember the name. But I have a lot of palettes I don't really know the name of. But sometimes I'll use those, like this one. I'm not sure what the name of this palette is. But, yeah. But anyway, don't they look like spider legs? Woo! They're cute. They're real cute. And then I grabbed, this is to go down in the bucket to put the flowers in. So, I think it'll fit perfect. Yeah. So, I was glad to find that. And then I grabbed some, some Valentine bags. So, I said I was going to do the Valentine Day, um, the Valentine Day bags for the girls. Um, oh my gosh, my rings are sliding off because I'm cold. Anytime I get cold, like, my rings slide off. Um, so I found some really pretty bags. Let me show you guys. This one is gorgeous. Like, they had some really pretty ones. This is not sparkly, but it does have the foil hearts on it, black back black background and it says love 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 and then this one is sparkly look at it it's so pretty y'all if you can see those sparkles it's really pretty yeah the back of it is not sparkly so i thought it was really cute 
says love in one of the hearts. Uh, there's some glitter fallout on that bad boy. And this is my favorite. This is absolutely my favorite. This side is sparkly. Look how pretty those hearts are. Oh my goodness. And then this side is not sparkly, but that sparkly side, that one is gorgeous. I love that. And looky here on this one, it has a jewel. Can you, does it have a jewel? Yeah, look right there. It has a jewel right there. Can you see that? Is that just a weird... That's not a jewel. My gosh. That's me with bad eyesight, okay? That's not a jewel. <laughs> That's a hole for the handle. Never mind me. Just never mind me, guys. And then here's another gorgeous one. I think this would be good for a guy. I don't know. Uh, and the black one, actually. So this is red glittery, and it says love. There's some black hearts and white hearts, and it's just really pretty. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. And then we have here, this is a wet and wild um, coloration or color, color, color icon, coal eyeliner. Now I bought the wet or the LA colors one before. I really don't care for those. They don't really work that well. They may be okay for eyebrows because it doesn't take, you know, but what I like is to, for the under eye right here, not the upper eye. I got to have a liquid felt tip for that. But for my under eye here, I like a good pencil that actually works. So this is in the color Babe, Baby's Got Black. Cute color, Baby's Got Black. Um, so yeah, if this works good, I may try to pick up a couple more if I see them. But I had never seen these right here. So Wet n Wild, and it was, you know, it was with the other stuff, but there was not many of them hanging there, so. Um, okay, I've got a couple more items really quick. I'm trying to hurry before Jack gets here. These are kind of boro. I just got some cleaning products. I got that. And then I got this big container of Spick and Span. I like to use these just to refill my spray bottles. And this one too, really. This one says Ajax Stronger Than Dirt. It is the multi-purpose cleaner in the color lime with or the color, the scent. Well, it says lime with baking soda. So... There's that. That looks like from Ghostbusters. The slime, doesn't it? Like Slimer. That could be Slimer in that bottle and we wouldn't even know it. And then this is just kills bacteria and viruses. Spick and span. Everyday antibacterial cleaner. So there's what that looks like. Nice. And then I got my son. Two of these. And I just got two different ones because... I thought they might taste different. I have no clue. It's the Perrier water. And it's in this, the, it says Murakami. Murakami, Kami. I think that's how you pronounce that. But this one, they look different. So this one says Murakami as well. So carbonated mineral water. To me, this stuff is nasty. I do not like Perrier at all. I don't like any, I don't like that. I don't like that. But he does. So these are super cute. I mean, come on. Like, I mean, I love the bottles. I love those. <laughs> I'm a I'm a sucker for stuff like that. Okay, last but not least, I've got a three pack of Sunny D for Jack. And these are nice and cold. These has been in my car. Um, so I put kind of a couple hauls together here to make one nice long haul for you guys. So these has been in my car. They are cold so she might like to have some of them so anyway i just want to say thank you guys for watching this video um i just had to do it in the car you know just for a little bit of funsies so if you like this type of video if you like dollar tree hauls guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave me a comment i love to hear your guys's comments I try to comment back or at least emoji back on some of them. And also, if you are not following me on Instagram or Facebook, it's Keto Twisted Gypsy. Go follow me. And yeah, because um, I do um, like most of these pictures. The most the most interesting ones will be on Instagram and today. So um, just a little sneak peek of the video coming up. And also, I've started back to keto, so I put all of, most of my foods that I eat, I take pictures of those and put on there as well. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, have a great New Year's Eve. Bye.